pop out the memory card. Now I got a tablet you can use on any device. I could use the phone if I wanted to. Or a laptop for that or matter. Or a laptop. You can use anything with a screen really. So if you want to use something in the field that is not a laptop, you can buy these at Walmart. It is simply just a memory card reader. You put this in. Grab our tablet here. So you go to Rufoc AI and you'd log in, create a new report. We're just gonna populate these with test since it's just a, a demo here. You, this would be the client's name, all of the all of the information for the client. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course you can do asphalt, three tab, clay, stone, slate, cedar. We're going to do all the damage photos. Let's take the photos we just took. So this one, this one, this one, this one. Done. <coughs> and they're uploading. Once they're uploaded, you'll have a report back in three to five minutes. So artificial intelligence is doing the damage assessment. It's uh, We teach the AI what is hail and what isn't. And so it's over 90% accurate right now. We're And we're working on getting it 99% accurate for you guys because accuracy is everything. I mean... This is a this is a tool for you to open more doors. This is we have clients that will use it to to have a house that was denied, run a roof hawk, go back with the adjuster. And we've had a lot of success with clients with doing that. But its main purpose is for you to open doors. It's for a homeowner who might have damage or might not have damage to give you the opportunity to go up there. Whereas right now they may turn you away because you they don't want you up on the roof. You're the 300 door knocker after a hailstorm. There's all sorts of objections. Drones and Rufhawk overcome those objections because this is an objective detection. It's hail or it's not. It's not the roofer, it's not the insurance company, it's not the homeowner, it's AI giving you a third uh, a, a third opinion on what is on the roof, whether it's wind or hail or whatever. So it's not an opinion it's, actually. Oh yes, it, it is a data, you're right, it's a data yeah. point. It's, it's really, really powerful. I'll, I'll pretty much all of our clients have had nothing but huge success with it. We've had several that have run five, six, seven reports and gotten four roofs out of it. Um, you know, if you use it, it's the highest ROI investment you're going to make in your business. You're not going to get a higher ROI than Rufa because this was designed from the ground up to give you the opportunity to get in front of more homeowners and get more sales and get more roofs easier while staying on the ground and, and being able to do a lot more with your time. Easier to have salespeople come out and sell when they don't have to get on the roof. We all know people that are great at selling, that can do a great job, but maybe don't want to get up on the roof in July, that maybe don't want to get up on the roof, period. Uh, and of course, the safety conditions on top of that is also a big uh, a big to-do when it comes to- Consumers uh, love the drone. Oh, they love it. The, the, the technology? absolutely love this. We have very little, I'd say pretty much non-existent resistance by homeowners. And I know Steve's mentioned several times, he's the head of our audit committee. We audit all of these photos because we want them to be the most accurate. We want this to become the standard of truth of is this wind, is this hail, and that's the end of the story. There's no argument between adjusters or roofers or homeowners. It is just the truth, and that's all it is. So there will be anomalies. There will be things that get detected that aren't hail or aren't wind. They might be some fluke, might be some weird thing that happens. But we know that, and like I said, be happy that we can still trick AI because there's bad outcomes if we can't. But we do eliminate a lot of the false positives by all the hard work that we've already done. And so there's a lot of confidence in this tool to get it right and get you the sale and go from there. And, and as I said, we didn't build this to go up against adjusters. Uh, some of our clients have done that and been successful. So it's accurate enough that on occasion, uh, adjusters have, have taken it and accepted it and paid the claims that were prior denied. So they'd already been up there, they had already evaluated the claim, denied it, and then bang, they're good to go. So that is, that's the demo, and it's really that simple. It was 10 minutes, flight, uh, including flight time, upload time, report is back. And I mean, I don't know if Steve wants to pan out, but you could do, I mean, in 10 minutes, you can knock out one, two, I mean, in an hour, you could knock out half the street.